gosh. Okay, let's get on with it. Uh, here's a car that I've mentioned several times that we just picked up as we continue to have more opportunities for you guys. Like I said, find that positive and move forward. Heck yeah, man, as I look out here, I've got all kinds of great opportunities for you guys of the 2019 C7 Corvette. So this one, I can't wait till we get it prepped. Even when we get it from another dealership, we go through a PDI process. Uh, this is beautiful. It's got those, I wish the, wish the sun would come back out. But we have those beautiful motorsports black wheels. Those are cool, man. You don't see those too often. And once we get it all pictured up, you'll see the blue stitching inside. And what is up? What is up with the blue stitching not available on the C8 2020 car? I just think that you got blue seat belts and no blue stitching. <sighs> okay, anyways. Today's quick tip for the dealers now that I'm all cranky. <laughs> uh, let me just come back here. So... As I mentioned, we got this from another dealership, and this drives me freaking nuts. Ah, stop putting that on the back of your cars. It looks stupid. <laughs> it does, doesn't that look stupid? Well, let's face it, if I had a dealership, you bet I'm going to want Conti on the back of all my product. But with Corvette, it's a different level of customer, different type of car. So I get that, and I'm thankful that my bosses understand my wishes on why we don't put Coglin stickers on the back of your Corvette. That's the key, it's your car. Because here's what's gonna happen, and I've seen, well, I've seen many videos out there on YouTube where customers are doing videos talking about this very subject, that they're frustrated, they've gotta take their new Corvette home and take the dealer sticker off. Well, here's what happens. If you do that, and you go home to take that sticker off, and you scratch the car, because of the dealer emblem you're trying to remove, what's the chance of getting a referral? What's the chance of you going back there? What's the chance of you being happy and having that warm and fuzzy yeah, zero? So here, just don't do that. <laughs> and my boss looked at me and he goes, okay, because I was asked, uh, excuse me, uh, there's no Coughlin sticker in the back of that Corvette. And I said, that's correct, sir. Uh, they're not on any Corvette. <laughs> and then I told him that story, why? Because you know what? That makes sense. Keep doing what you're doing. I was like, all right, whew, somebody that gets it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that's my quick tip for not you guys, for those dealers out there. Don't, don't do it. I mean, that looks dumb. I mean, if you're going to put one on there, at least make it look cool. That'll look cool. You bought that at Target or something like that and stuck it on there. Now we got to be really careful when we take it off and clean it properly so all the uh, adhesion stuff is not stuck on this spoiler and doesn't wreck the car. And believe me, we know how to do that. I don't want you to have to hassle with that. So, um, <laughs> wow, what a vlog today, you guys. Is your head spinning yet? Because mine is. <laughs> all right, let's end this vlog on another positive note and just having fun as we do every Tuesday. And that's showcasing your beautiful rides. In fact, before we do that, let me bring this car over to Chuck. He's got to do the PDI on it anyways and see what he thinks about dealer stickers on the back of your Corvette. Hey, I just hate to put you on the spot, but I do that to you all the time anyways. Yeah? People haven't seen you in a while. I just want to let them know you're still alive. <laughs> Still here. Really, yeah, we're both feeling a little stressed as we were talking about earlier. Yeah, more on that later, maybe. <laughs> anyway, hey, come look at something on the back of this car for me, real quick, if you would. Go ahead. I'm scared. No, just, just play along. <laughs> we're recording. <laughs> the back of the car's over here, by the way. <laughs> okay. Now, what do you think when you see this on the back of, of a Corvette? Really? Just be honest. That's what I want from you. You know that. If somebody put that on the back of my Corvette, there'd be trouble. <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> I mean, seriously? Oh, how about that? We use it as a quick tip today, not for the customers, but for dealers that are morons that do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was wow. awful, man. Hey, it's, it's in chrome, and it's raised up. It looks really nice. I'm all about advertising, but come on. Yeah, right, exactly. All right, nice talking to you. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya. So the older guy in service heard us talking about that, so... <laughs> you are you are older than him, isn't it? No, he's actually... You sure look at how loud older. Anyway. <laughs> Kevin was talking about the old... And I do remember this. The old days when they put dealer emblems on the car. What do they do? That's right. They drilled holes in them and put barrel clips, and then they pushed the emblem, the metal emblem, oh. the die cast emblem into the body of the car. Oh my and gosh. It's permanent there. That's how somebody gets hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine if they did that today? Okay. Now let's get on with your beautiful rides. Thanks for watching.
And I didn't understand that you 